Red Adair put out thousands of oil well fires using explosives, robbing their oxygen for just seconds. Would conventional explosions save lives by depriving household fires of oxygen, or would the destructive forces of conventional explosives be more detrimental than conventional solutions? I'm Eleanor J. Kaufman. I'm William Paul Norweiss. And, and we, we decided, decided to, to put, put it to the, the test. test. According to the Center for Disease Control, over 3,000 people die in structural fires in the United States per year. This exceeds playground accidents, basketball accidents, and soccer accidents combined. The traditional method for fighting fire is with water, which deprives the fire of oxygen. But we wanted to go non-traditional and fight fire with fire. As much as we might have wanted to, we couldn't test this on Will's house. Or Ellie's. So our test would have to be conducted on a dollhouse. Throw it, Will! We decided to deprive the dollhouse fire by putting it out using explosives instead of water. Even though this method works flawlessly in the oil field, would it work in your neighborhood? No. 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 Just like a drive through liquor store, it was almost a good idea. But it wasn't a good idea at all. What we discovered was that the blast itself was more destructive than the house fire. We concluded that this isn't a workable solution for putting out house fires. Do not try this at home. Do not try this anywhere. No one was hurt in the making of this video, and do not try this at home. I would like to thank William Narvaez. And I'd like to thank Eleanor Kaufman. And thank you to Danny Barone for his emotional support. We had a great time conducting the experiment, but it didn't work. But we had an even greater time at TRCS. It worked flawlessly.